welcome you all to my channel is this your first time of coming to my channel thanks a lot don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe so in today's tutorial we are going to making a simple video on how to cut and sew a mono strap bustier gown so basically what do you understand by mono strap it simply means that one part of your dress you have your regular shoulder and for the other parts you have your off shoulder so and i'm going to show you guys also how to achieve your bustier and also how to have your long gown with a high slit at the back if you're interested in learning how to achieve this then please stay tuned so what are the basic measurements required in order for you to achieve this we have our shoulder measurements bust measurements waist hip and our gown length now i know you might want to ask me that what about our shoulder to nipple measurements what about our nipple to nipple shoulder to under bust and all of that but if you've watched my previous video on how to achieve your size chart you basically understand the fact that you can you know make your style or dress with just your basic measurements but i'm going to go ahead and put the link of the size chart video somewhere on the screen please go ahead and watch that and if you are interested in having a comprehensive size chart which is available i'm going to put down the details in the description box you can go ahead and place your order and get your size chart so the size chart basically helps you to know how to get every other measurement aside from your basic measurement so let's go ahead now and calculate our measurements uh should I measurement 16 16 16 divided by 2 we have 8 our bust measurement is 42 42 divided by 4 we have our bust measurement 42 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 12.5 inches our waist is 38 38 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 11.5 inches our hip is 44 44 divided by 4 plus 2 we have 13 inches our gown length is 58 58 plus 2 we have 60 inches so basically basically because the upper part of our dress we are going to have our bustier effect and the lower part we are going to have our pencil gown basically because the upper part of our dress we are going to have our mono strap and also our bustier effect why for the lower part of the dress is where you are going to have your pencil gown and your high seat at the back now you might want to ask me that you know what about our shoulders or our under bust to determine where you, you are going to have your bustier effect that is why i'm going to say that please go ahead and place your order for your size chart it enables you to know what is the measurement for all the sizes right so this is what we have if you have any question in the course of this tutorial please go ahead and drop your questions in the comment section or any topic you want us to make a video on and don't forget to join us on facebook to the designs on instagram tg designs and also visit our website we have detailed fashion illustration on our website and all the details are going to be in the description box below trainings are available both online training and physical training i'm going to do is to go ahead and mark our basic lines so we're basically going to mark our basic line which is shoulder to arm o nine and a half shoulder to bust 10 inches shoulder to under bust 14 shoulder to waist 18 inches waist to hip 9 inches waist to knee length 17 inches and then we have our gown length so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and connect the lines together this is the lines this is basically what we have so the next thing we are going to do now is to go ahead and mark our dart measurement so my dart measurement is four and a half I'll go ahead and mark four and a half for my dart measurement. Once I'm done, I'll connect the lines together. On the waistline, mark half inch on both sides. On your waistline, mark half inch on both sides. And then you connect it to your bust. And you also connect it to your hip line this way. Now, the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and extend your dart line to your shoulder line because your one shoulder is definitely going to have bustier, right? So you go ahead and connect it. 
on the under boss mark half inch on both sides on the under boss mark half inch on both sides and then you go ahead and connect it to your boss line and you connect your under boss to your waistline making use of this curve in your pattern master and pattern masters are available so we'll go ahead now and connect it so this is basically what it looks like so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark five inches on your shoulder for your shoulder that you mark five inches now you connect it to your boss point this way once you connect it this is what you are going to have so the next thing you are going to do now is to go ahead and mark your measurement so my bust measurement i have 13 inches my waist measurement i have 12.5 inches my hip measurement i have 13.5 inches so this is basically what i have now let me go ahead and do the upper part before i move to the lower part so now you are going to mark your shoulder but before you mark your shoulder please make sure you close your shoulder that right make sure you close your shoulder that and then you go ahead and take your shoulder measurement so we've gone ahead now to mark our shoulder measurements we are going to make it of our arm o curve which comes in our pattern set connect your shoulder line to your bust line connect it to your bust line connect your bust to waist waist to hip so this is what you have for the upper part now for the lower part we have 13 and half inches here right and don't forget that what we want to achieve is our long you know pencil gown that has a very high slit so basically you can deduct half inch or one inch it all depends but note that it shouldn't be too pencil at the lower part so that you know your customer or whoever is wearing the dress can have a free movement so i have 13.5 here i'm going to go ahead and mark 13 inches so basically i'm just deducting you know half inch i'm just gonna go ahead now so i'll mark that at the gown length what i will do now is basically connect this hip line to my gown length so go ahead and mark that all the way to your length now you also discovered that look at the pattern paper i'm making use of it's a very full pattern paper can you guys see it is very full there is no joining or whatsoever because this pattern paper is about 60 inches long and pattern papers are available so if you're interested in getting one please check out the description box to place your order now in order for me to get my one shoulder i prefer you know show you guys how to get one shoulder when i want to transfer my pattern to my fabric however you can do yours directly on your pattern right it all depends on how easy and convenient it is for you so i'll go ahead now and cut this out and show you guys what we have so guys now i've gone ahead to cut this out right after cutting it out we have two pieces one piece for the lower side and one piece for the upper part now you will discover that i have not cut out my bust here and i didn't also cut out my arm oh this is because what we want to achieve is one shoulder will be your arm oh and one shoulder will be your off shoulder and i'm going to explain how to get that better when we want to transfer this to the fabric so the next thing i'm going to do now is to set this aside and cut out the pattern for the back look so now we want to cut out the back block the first thing we are basically going to do now is to go ahead and mark your zip allowance so i'm going to make use of one inch one and a half inches for my zip allowance so i'll go ahead now and mark that so once i'm done i will connect my zip allowance together That the next thing you have to do now is to go ahead and mark your dart measurements so my dart measurement is 4.5 i'll also mark 4.5 i'll mark 4.5 inches once i'm done i will connect the lines together on the waistline go ahead and mark half inch on both sides connect your waistline to your bust 
and your bust line to your hip line so basically the back block is actually very easy so the next thing you have to do now is just go ahead and mark your basic measurement the back block is very easy so our shoulder measurements now we have 8 inches our bust measurements we have 13 our waist we have 12.5 we have 12.5 on our hip on our hip we have 13.5 we have 13.5 now for the front block don't forget that we only took out half inch so we have 13 inches we are also going to mark that also at the gown length so once i'm done i'll basically go ahead and connect these lines together Please, if you have any questions, feel free to drop your questions in the comment sections or any topic you want us to make a video on. So I'll go ahead now and connect this and this is basically what I have. So the next thing I'm going to do is also go ahead with my ammo curve and connect my bust measurement to my shoulder. So I'll go ahead now and connect this this is what we have so you also discovered that i didn't mark out my neckline yet because i'm going to show you guys how to do that also when we want to transfer our patterns to our fabric so next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and cut this out so guys this is basically what we have so for the back block also i'm also going to open this up I'm also going to open this up for the back block. So we have this for the lower piece and this for the upper piece. So let's go ahead now and transfer this to the fabric. So guys, I'm making use of this sweet lace fabric. Can you guys see how cute this fabric is? Lace and lace fabrics are also available so this is one of the fabric we have in store so this is what it looks like so i've gone ahead to fold my fabric into two note that when you are dealing with lace fabrics like this you have to be careful okay because they are very soft you know not soft but like they easily shake right so you have to make sure you pin them down make sure they are safe so that they don't like shift so after folding my fabric into two the next thing I'm going to do now is to go ahead and place my pattern on my fabric this way. Place my pattern on my fabric and then I will just go ahead and cut this out here. So guys, after cutting it out, of course we have two pieces but there's something I want to show you guys. So when you are dealing with lace fabrics like this, it's also very necessary for you to take note of this edge which is the factory edge. You'll see that I didn't cut this out so this is going to be like the lower part of the dress. So yeah. So for the back block now we have two pieces for the lower piece i'll go ahead. also gonna ahead to fold my fabric into two after folding my fabric i'll go ahead and place my pattern you have to be very careful so after placing my pattern this way i'll go ahead now and cut this out so this is the front block so the front block now you're going to have just one single piece so i'll go ahead now and carefully cut this out and show you guys what it looks like so guys after cutting this out this is what we have you can see that the factory edge also is also the upper piece of the back block i've also gone ahead to fold my fabric into two i've placed my pattern on it right and then i've gone ahead to cut this out now of course i know that i have not you know cut out the arm o and also the neckline and that is basically because i want to cut out the front block so that both sides can align so what i mean by that basically is the part where you have for your shoulder your regular shoulder should also be the same part you have for the front block so let me go ahead now and set this aside and then cut out the front block and so guys now you know we've gone ahead to fold our fabric into two we've placed our patterns and then we've cut this out so let's go ahead now and open it up and get our one shoulder so i want to have a conversation with you guys right you know there are people who or let me know what team are you do you cut on your lace fabric first before you transfer to your lining basically cut on your lace fabric first before you transfer to your lining or do you cut on your lining first you know your lining could either be bridal satin door bridal door face 
do you cut on your bridal first before you transfer to your lace so i really want to know what theme you are so go ahead and put it down in the comment section let us know what method you use but whichever method so guys now i've gone ahead to cut it out on the bridal like i said earlier so that you guys can see what i'm doing carefully so the first thing i said is you go ahead and mark your arm also first determine where you want to be your regular shoulder and where you want to be your off shoulder so at this point now this is where i want to be my regular shoulder i'll go ahead and mark my arm o which is nine and a half i think this is clear now on this middle piece now you go ahead and mark the number of inches you want for your off shoulder so you can take off six seven eight it all depends on how off you want it to be so i'm going to go ahead now with six and a half inches now on this part where you want to be your off shoulder you also go ahead and mark your arm o which i have nine and half right nine and a half inches so place this together place this together now okay so this is what you have so this is a regular shoulder now so the next pattern so that i can mark where we have our arm o on the side where we want to be our arm o so on the sleeve where you want to be your arm o you have to take your pattern paper you know just go ahead and mark where you want where you have your arm o curve so you basically just go ahead now and connect it so you are basically just connecting your arm o curve to the part where you want to have your arm o so this is our arm o curve now now the next thing we are basically going to do now is just to go ahead and so for this midpoint we've marked six inches right so give it like a curve this way right can you see it so give it like a curve this way i really don't want to put so much chalk on the fabric but i hope you guys can see it so give it a curve this way i think it's clear by the time you join this together you can see that is a continuous curve so this will be the shoulder and this will be the you know curve so you go ahead now and you connect this to this other sleeve this other sleeve where you have your off shoulder this is our arm home you connect it this way now for your arm o what should be your arm o shoulder your arm o shoulder is always a slant line your arm o is always a slant right your arm o is always a slant so you have your slant this way you've connected your six and a half inches your off shoulder to your arm o with a slant so this is our shoulder for this part and this is our arm o you've gone ahead to connect with the slant and then you have your curve to have your arm o so this is actually very easy you can see so the next thing we are going to do now is just go ahead and cut this out so guys once you are done cutting it this is what you have so by the time you couple this up and then you couple this up you can see what it looks like so you can see your regular shoulder you can see your off shoulder um, your neckline and also your curve so i'll go ahead now and do this for my so guys now you know like i said earlier you are going to cut out two bridal for your upper piece now the first piece of your bridal I said you are going to just stitch it this way like directly on the fabric right you can go ahead and glue it or just stitch it just to pin it down so that you can have exactly your lace fabric so i've also gone ahead to you know cut out my lace fabric this is what it looks like this is where we have our regular shoulder and this is where we have our off shoulder so the next thing i'm going to do now is just to go ahead and couple this up so by the time i couple this up now you know fixing my bustier my wording i'm going to have one single piece for my front block so couple this up so that you can have one single piece and then turn it with your lining now for the back piece now for the back piece this is what it looks like this is our regular shoulder and also this is our off shoulder dress to be by the time you want to couple this up this is the back block this front block of your regular shoulder that was at the right hand side we automatically come to this part right and then this is what you are going to have at the end of the day so you are going to have at the end of the day you will discover that you know both shoulders are on the same part so don't make the mistake of cutting 
your back block your regular shoulders on this part and then your front block you're having your regular shoulder on this part like automatically you spot the clothes so that is why i suggest that you know you can get it when you are cutting the fabric so at least by that time you are sure of where you so now for the back block also we have two pieces for the back block i've also gone ahead to turn it with our lining right i'm making it a brighter also and this is what it looks like for the back piece so the next thing we are going to do now for this back piece is to go ahead and determine how high do you want your slit to be so at this point it depends on how high you want it to be you can take it very high or you can take it low it all depends on how you want to style your dress okay okay so for me now it's going to be like a very high slit like i said earlier i'm going to make use of 20 inches for my slit note that it all depends on you okay so this is where my slit ends right this is 20 inches from the bottom this is where my slit ends and also on this upper part i'm going to be fixing my zipper so this is where my slit ends and my zipper is going to end around nine inches also my zipper is going to end around nine inches so if this is where i want my slit to end and this is where i want my zip to end so it means i'm only going to stitch from this point to this point you know this is our front piece the lower piece of the front block we've gone ahead to turn it with our bridle and then this is what it looks like for the front this is what you should have for the front you can see how cute this lace is now you also discovered you know like i said earlier the lower part of our gown we are making of this factory edge right they call it etia j or something so this is what it looks like so guys you will discover that you know they fall on the same part so it's also necessary that you take note of that so that i don't make mistakes so now we'll go ahead now and couple this up and then i'll show you guys what it looks like so the next thing i'm going to do now is to go ahead and stitch this you know our bust line to our waist to our hip and then couple this up once i'm done or before that i'll go ahead and stitch my shoulder together so i'll show you guys what it looks like so guys i've gone ahead to you know stitch them together you can see what our dress looks like and for the back block also you can see what it looks like and then you have your sleeves so the next thing i went ahead to do now is to go ahead and fix my sleeve so you can basically use any sleeve so at this part now where you have your off shoulder i fixed you know my off shoulder sleeve a short form of it while for the other part where we have our regular shoulder i went ahead to fix our regular sleeve so this is what it looks like thanks so much for watching i will see you guys in my next one kisses